Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and season 13 is upon us. It's time to read the patch notes. They just came out and uh, there's quite a bit of them. So this might get a lengthy, might turn into a lengthier video than I would hope. But you know what? We got to figure out what's new. They actually said there's some new things mentioned in here. You're open new landing zone added in the Eventide Ruins for all players. Completely beyond light campaign. Perfect. Dreaming City Reverie Dawn Armor Set has been reissued with a new max power cap and combat style mod socket. Nice. Waking Vigil, Vouch Safe, Retold Tale, Sleepless. And sleepless weapons have been reissued with a new max power cap and new perk pools. I want to see what new perks are on them. Hopefully a Vorpal on a rocket be fire. Dreaming City weapons that have reached their max power caps will no longer drop once you have obtained the item once. Allowing collectors to fill their collections while ensuring the subsequent item drops remain usable in difficult activities. Fixed an issue. Petra's icon. Okay. The fixed an issue ones, I'm going to skip past. Malfeasance quest. Fixed an issues with Malfeasance quest. Dark monastery. Fixed issues. These are a bunch of issues fixed. So we can move, move past those. Cosmodrome. Fixed an issue where some rocks and grass were floating in the air. Okay. That's why I'm skipping past the fixed an issue ones. Tangled Shore. Fixed a bunch of issues within the Tangled Shore. The Moon. The Dreambane armor set has been reissued with a new power cap and the combat style mod socket as well as dedicated Nightmare mod socket. All three Altars of Sorrows weapons, uh, Apostate, Blast from a Heretic. And the premonition pulse rifle have been reissued with the new max power cap perk pools perfect mysterious servants fixed a bunch of issues looks like nessus fixed some issues uh fixed issues on edz look at all these issues what the heck beyond bugged dude they fixed it they fixed a lot of stuff uh public events ether resupply more issues being fixed uh, can someone count the number of times that they typed fixed an issue and let me know in the comments um Look at all these issues within these strikes. Every strike has an issue. Literally, they fix an issue within every strike. Crucible. Crucible tokens and gifts have been deprecated. Crucible of Valor rank rewards are now visible on Lord Shacks. Yep. Maps. Banner fall fixed an issue. Burnout Wormhaven. Fixed an issue where map music would play too early during the load screen. That's funny. Uh, fixed out of environment issues on Radiant Cliffs. That's actually kind of sick. Kind of stoked about that. Gambit. Deleted Gambit. Oh, wait. No. Uh, sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, Gambit Infamy rank rewards are now visible on Drifter. Okay, cool. Raids. Raid reward sources now include Master Rick materials as follows. Enhancement cores and prisms. A chance to drop from hidden chests and last wish. Wow, that's cool. Uh, they're now on a weekly lockout per chest per raid. Senate shards are obtainable via reward from a weekly director challenge connected to the featured raid. Senate shard weekly director challenge requires players to complete all encounters of the feature raid before paying out interesting so you can get senate shards and uh enhancement cores and prisms from the raids now uh i don't believe that was ever announced before so that's pretty cool the last wish encounters and challenges should now award the attended standard xp amounts fixed twenty-five thousand issues in the last wish as well garden of salvation fixed an issue deep stone crypt Atrax once health bar should exhibit less rubber banding behavior. Ah, nice. They finally got to that. Uh, free room scanner augment will now be removed from players when starting the first raid encounter. Got it. Dungeons. Shattered Throne. Shattered Throne chests will no longer drop items that have reached their max power caps. Every Dawn armor that drops in the Shattered Throne dungeon will roll with higher stats comparable to raid armor. Nice. Dreaming City weapons that drop in the Shattered Throne dungeon can roll with perks that are unavailable from drops from other reward sources fixed a few issues um same thing with pit of heresy a little bit and prophecy dungeon bunch of issues fixed within the prophecy dungeon general they fixed a few bugs ui one interesting collection categories are now now allow players to mark the, all items that's clear I'm here for that category interesting vault has a button within information on how to access the destiny command app built by the destiny community really Menu header bars correctly stretch the widescreen monitors. Logo updated for the BNOC team. Shout out to the folks who've kept their services running for years and sure so many more. Fix an issue where sometimes the legacy triumphs. Um, subclass icon correctly displays. Updated stasis fragment display. Okay, we can skip those. Eververse. Nothing too crazy in Eververse. Sandbox. Okay. Now this is where we, this is the meat. All right. Fix an issue where certain arc and solar grenades could apply their hit visual FX to animated doors and floors. Fix an issue where using Shiver Strike near stasis crystals could send you into the stratosphere. 
Oh my gosh, so many so many sandbox issues that are fixed. Fixed an issue where dust field grenades can freeze stasis crystals and bar barricades. Interesting, I didn't realize that was an issue. Decrease the height at which glacier grenades. There's so many here in here. Stasis freeze breakout. When playing on a controller, the input for breaking out of stasis is now double press B slash circle for all classes. Really? The controls for the breakout action can be changed via controller remapping. Stasis freeze. Increase the damage frozen players can take before shattering from 100 HP to 200 HP. When frozen stasis. Wow, they actually, they actually, um, I think they actually really adjusted the freeze thing big time here. Players now take 50% less damage from primary slash ammo weapons. Take 50% less damage from primary ammo weapons? When, wait a second. So you get frozen. You take less damage. Less damage? Because you're immobilized. Really? What? When frozen by stasis, players now take 50% more damage from special ammo weapons. Heavy ammo. Primary. Okay. You so if you get sniped in like the body, you'll die. So if you get hit by an energy weapon, you're for sure going to die. But if you get hit by a primary weapon, not so much. This is some insanity. It says, note, we're planning on more in-depth abilities. Tuning pass. But in the meantime, we've implemented this change to increase players' chances for surviving being frozen. Wow. I mean, wow, wow, wow. This is huge. You like the same animal. thing applying to PvE a little bit. That's crazy. They're changing, they're changing shit like crazy. Withering Blade no longer does critical headshot damage. Handled Supernova. Reduce self damage from 100% to 25%. Armor. Um, Aeon Colt. Obviously, we talked about the Aeon Colt. Weapons, the catalysts have all come back for these weapons. Fix an issue where Sturms. Yep. Miss Merciless might be pretty good now. Uh, weapon archetype changes. Rocket launcher has been increased by 30%. And the exotics are just alone. We talked about all these weapons already. Added a short cooldown on demolition. And mouse and keyboard recoil. Scalars. Interesting. Let's see how the recoil looks like. Mouse and keyboard. Power progression, soft cap. Yep, pinnacle cap is 1310 now. We gotta hit that. Ideally, hit 1300 as soon as possible. Gilded titles. Oh my gosh, this is some craziness here. I definitely want to get, like, I guess, conquer gilded. That'd be fire. And. Bounties in pursuit. Hmm. Platforms and systems. I'm skipping over stuff a little bit because the season's just about to launch and it's time to jump in instead of reading this right now. So let me know if I've missed anything absolutely catastrophic. Let me know in the comment section below or let me know on my live stream because I'm live right now on twitch.tv slash lucky10p. That's going to be wrap for this video. A lot of crazy stuff. I'm really happy to see that uh, they're changing the freeze within stasis. That's a big change and a big W for Bungie in my opinion. So there it is. That's the video of uh, reading the patch notes season 13's launch and I'll go into those in more detail and test them all in PvP and private matches soon. So, see you for that video. Later.